Yo, what's good, you lot? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ellis here today in this video. I'm going to show you how Tay Keith has reached multiple Billboard number ones, his Grammy award winning, and is arguably one of the best producers in the world right now. Before we get into it, be sure to go cop my new Ashes Loop kit out now for completely free. Be sure to go check it out, link in the description. And yeah, follow me on Instagram at Ellis Loss. I'm trying to hit 10k on there. Let's get right into it. All right, so yeah, so far, as you can see, I kind of have the loop already ready. Not arranged yet, but I'm going to kind of go through all the sounds because these sounds, I literally use the same method Tay Keith uses to make this melody. So I just want to break them down each method he uses and yeah let's get right into it and this is what the final melody sounds like right now without any like arrangement Yeah, I don't even know where to start the same thing. So I think I started off with the piano, right? Because this is kind of always like a main sort of great thing to base everything around. So whenever I'm making like loads of melodies, I like to start off with a piano and then like maybe change the sound out or something like that. So yeah, this is the piano I have. So very, very simple. First off, the VSC I used was the Grandeur from Contact. One of my favorite plugins, I use it all the time. Um, and I added these little bass notes, right? So this is kind of what I base it all around. So I did C sharp, E, then D. Because if I play this on its own, this is what it sounds like. And like... Bro, right, that's this your takey vibe right there. There's so many songs I know that he's used this sort of progression on, where it just uses the little tension notes here, but you start off the root note. So yeah, for example, if you do a different key, it'd be like D sharp, F sharp, F, you know what I'm saying? Or like B, then A sharp. Just using these tension notes for the second um, two bars, it's just perfect. So yeah, I use that, and then straight after that, I've made chords from it. Literally, the chords are so simple. I just use the C sharp minor chord right here. I uh, got rid of the bird. So this is what the first chord sounds like. You know, very simple, right? It's just C sharp and then just a G sharp. This one, I've just followed this little root note scale right here. So next one would be a D sharp. I did a D sharp minor chord, just got rid of the third. And we have that, right? Very, very simple. They should duplicate that over. And then I just did some little um, traveling notes like this. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, that's pretty much the, the piano. Very simple, as you can see. Um, yeah, not too much else to say about that. So after that, I went into a D50, right? And I made put in this MIDI, right? So this MIDI probably sounds very familiar or looks very familiar because you've probably made a MIDI with a MIDI like this because it's very simple, right? So um, this is what it sounds like anyway before I break anything else down. With no effects on anything, this is what it originally sounded like. Do you hear that? And then you already know, you're like, yeah, that's kind of the take key vibe, right? So for this whole melody in general, I was using the D50 again, like what I used on my previous videos so far. And yeah, it just hasn't failed to, you know, work, you know? So for this melody in particular, a lot of take key melodies, you tend to hear this sort of sound. And all it is, is it's literally just a normal pad. pad. You can make this easy by just getting a pad and then just, just changing the sustain. Wait, hold on. You know what? I'm going to make one right now. So let's go straight to like, uh, flipping serum or something, right? So yeah, to make a sound like this, it's very, very simple. So you literally just have, oh, hello. So you literally just have to go to your ADSR, right? So we have this, the ADSR. The attack, we want the same attack. What the hell is this? Hold. And then you bring the sustain all the way down, right? As you can see, it's fading out. Okay. And you just bring the decay up a bit more. Initially, that is the main basis. Um, you can do some normal like, other sounds. This is obviously just a normal sort of saw wave or sine wave, or whatever. That is literally the envelope you want. You want this little like triangle envelope right here. And then that is how you make this sound because this is just a pad, but it's not a long pad, you know? So yeah, I then had this melody. This melody, obviously, I followed the same root note uh, scale. This is like a thing that's consistent in most of the melodies. And then I put this little like arpeggiator sort of melody over which take Keith uses in so literally probably all of his beats man i can't i'm just gonna say it right now all of his beats he probably uses this all right so literally all this is is i was just playing around with it right so i just did c sharp down then up and little um i don't, I don't know how to explain it, man i was just pressing things in right but it's literally just this copied over right i just literally got that duplicate over blah, blah 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 and then bam we have this main melody and so those two together already this is what it sounds like you know, you've already got a takey five right there. 
Don't really hear the drums on it. And then after that, with that D50 sound, what I did, I didn't export that out, put some effects on it. So the effects I put on was a back mask. I used this in my last second video, if I'm right. Um, it looks a bit freaky, looks a bit demonic, but trust me, it just sounds good. That's the only reason why I use it. So I did that, just picked these presets. I have no clue what the presets mean, because like, look at it. And then yeah, I put half time on, just normal one bar, and then a bit of reverb as well, like so. Just so it's a bit more in the back and it's a bit more mixed. And this is what it sounds like now. And then after that, I put on this string sound from Contact. Very, very simple. Just follow the root notes again. Yeah, I mean, is there anything else I really need to say about that? So to get that, I went into Contact. I went into the Albion Solstice strings. I just used the normal default string. It was just following this main sort of um, root note melody. And guys, I mean, this is literally the secret of these take keep pieces, man. You just need this sort of progression. They're literally just C sharp, E, D sharp. You can make different ones like maybe C sharp or, and then you use these tension notes. You know what I'm saying? It just had this sort of dark vibe and I can already hear the Take Heath drums on that. The thing why I've used so many melodies, by the way, is because on these beats, he kind of has it like progressing and have changes and stuff. Like, for example, most, a lot of this melody is based off of the song Never Recover by Drake. And throughout that, it has a main melody and then it builds on at certain points. So I have all these melodies, but no, they're not all going to be in at the same time. You know what I mean? Then after that, I went to another D50. Um, this is the name of the plugin, Majestic Strings. And then again, for the root notes, but instead this time, I didn't use the exact same notes. I skip this one, skip the E. This is what it sounds like. That simple. And then as for the effects on that, I just stuck some chorus on, a bit of phaser and a bit of reverb so it fits more in because without all that, it sort of sounds like. Of course, it's a take Keith beat, man. We need to hear the little little bell and as for this um obviously it's just a c-sharp bell for the root note but what i did do this is what infinite showed me recently is um yes yeah, so a shout out infinite is with this bell as you can hear it's got a bit of delay but there's no delay effects so to get that effect you can literally do it straight from the one shot sound so you go to this little wrench sign go down to where it says echo delay slash fat man oh my god there's so many and then literally i was just playing around with this it's literally pretty much the same as the normal de uh fruit delay plugin fruit delay two and then we change the time as you can see on the top left it says time free three time four time five whatever whatever and we go to it from the one shot and same thing here look time four time three if you want to save um cpu literally just do it straight from the one shot sound and after that i stuck on this electric sound this really did bring together the takey vibe takey likes to just use the exact same melody just uh process versions different process versions like one could be half time one could be a different octave one could be a different style of timbre this is exactly what i did so this is what it sounds like now yeah like if that isn't take Keith man i don't know what is so for that obviously for the effects up on a half time and a stereo shaper and then the original sound was the Abe mccree lead so yeah for this you just, you just grab any sort of sign or sort of sort of lead and then mostly from electric x or nexus or something like that it's just the old vsts then on to the next sound we have this d50 right here As you get the main start part standing out is these root notes, which sound very good because a lot of this melody lacks that sort of low end. A lot of them is a bit high end ish. So you need that bit to kind of uh, make the melody more balanced. You know what I'm saying? So I stuck that on. Effects wise, nothing at all. And this next sound I pan to the right, which is this sound. That's what it sounds like. Just wanted like a different sort of lead sound again for the D50. Now after that, I just put Serum on for a sub bass. I was originally going to use like a like a live bass, but I remembered it's takey. You know what I'm saying? You need that sub bass. So. Summon to prove some by Lil Baby. He used a sub bass, he chucked it in himself. He did use the Nexus one, but for this one, I felt like the Serum one just sounded better. So, and this is what the final melody sounds like right now without any like arrangement. And um, yeah, so we have to arrange it now. As you can hear, there's a lot going on. So I'm just gonna literally break down all the sounds right now and just kind of put them in one by one to see what sounds good.
Okay, so yeah, as you can see, we're in another version of FL. Uh, we had this sample already set up, and yeah, let's just stick some drums on it. So already, take you for us to do this bounce. Stuff like that. So we want to just go for that sort of vibe. Make sound a little bit different. Change it after I put this kick in. Started quite simple. So bring the low end in even. You'd be like, okay. John's come in. much that is how take Heath has reached number one and makes billboard hits in 2023 if you enjoyed learning from the video be sure to go leave a like subscribe let me know what you guys are down below be sure to go follow me on instagram at and try and hit 10k on there and yeah i'll catch you on the next one peace